Okay, ladies and gentlemen, everybody else, good afternoon. Um, so everybody have a good time today? Yeah. Excellent. All right, all right. Nice, start us off with a nice non-leading question. Thank you for participating. Um, all right, so my name is James Berg. Um, I do have a name beyond the screaming guy, um, but if that's all you know me as, that's all right. Everyone will know who you're talking about. I'm a games user researcher up at EA Vancouver. Um, I also have the pleasure and honor uh, this year of being one of your uh, co-content chairs alongside Daniel Natapov. Uh, he and I have been working with Kevin Keeker, who is our summit director this year. Um, so if you have any feedback about this year's event, please let one of the three of us know. Um, we would also really appreciate you folks taking a look at the back page of your program to find a QR code and a tiny URL link uh, that will take you to the survey for this uh, entire summit. There are individu individual survey questions um, to ask or to get feedback about each of the content presenters. Please provide constructive criticism so we can just give this to them um, as feedback on their, their presentations. Um, and then give us feedback about the overall summit as well. Okay, this has been really, really helpful for us in previous years in helping us figure out what we should do more of, what we should do less of, where we should take the summit in new directions. Um, I also want to direct your attention to the Games UR EU summit coming up uh, hopefully in about six months. The summit director for that is going to be Sebastian Long. Um, and then next year, our summit director for the US event here uh, is going to be Phil Keck. Um, so we had David Tisserand for the last couple of years uh, as summit director. Um, we've had a really good series, uh, hopefully, of summits and we keep getting better and bigger, I hope, again. I'm a bit of a biased audience here. Uh, but please keep reaching out to us, giving us that feedback so we can keep going for that. Um, if you have ideas for future summits, please reach out to Phil, reach out to Seb. If you wish to volunteer, you're going to hear this word a lot from me in the next 10 minutes. Um, if you want to volunteer, please reach out to one of these gentlemen. Um, if you need help getting in contact with them, uh, let me know, let anyone really in the community know. We all know how to get a hold of these people. Okay? So, um, SIG update. Um, this is our major source of communication. It is the Games User Research Special Interest Group. Um, oh, by the way, for those that don't know, um, I am the International Game Developers Association Games User Research Special Interest Group Steering Committee Chair. Um, about half of my job <laughs> is practicing saying that really fast so that it sounds funny instead of incredibly pompous. Um, the rest of my job is, as Summit Chair is to help kind of organize uh, efforts uh, and help with volunteers support this kind of stuff that we're doing throughout the year. Um, so the major place that we get together and organize uh, is the Games User Research SIG. Um, this is on LinkedIn. Um, just quick show of hands, how many people are not part of our LinkedIn SIG? Okay, so a fair number of you. Okay, probably a lot of the students. Um, please do come join us here. Um, last year we've gone from about 1,266 members to 1,500. Uh, we're actually at 1,501 because I approved a guy on Saturday. I didn't want to because I like that nice even number, but <laughs> I'm not that terrible person. Um, so we've grown about 20% in the last year. Um, our conversations have gone from about 88 to 97. Um, so our conversations are growing as well. Um, and the major change that we made this year uh, is we've gone from an unlisted LinkedIn group to a standard group. Most people don't care about this. To all of you, hopefully it has been completely invisible. Nobody's noticed except for the admins that are taking care of things. Um, basically what this means is as an unlisted group in LinkedIn, you could not find us on Google. You could not find us by searching Games User Research SIG on LinkedIn. We were invisible. By going to standard, you can now find us. Um, so people can now find us, they approve or they apply, and then one of our moderators or one of our admins uh, lets you into the group. Um, now the thing that I want to make really clear is that new members must be involved or clearly interested in games user research. Okay? I underlined games. This is my boss's least favorite thing. Thanks, Ian. Um, I underlined it anyway because you must be interested in games. We get a fair number of applicants that are clearly researchers. We deny them. Um, to be part of our little club here, you need to be interested in games. If your LinkedIn profile doesn't show that, students, this is especially applicable for you. Um, follow some gaming people. Give me some excuse to let you into our group. If you just look like a UX researcher, sorry, there's a zillion groups for you. We're not one of them. So if you are interested in games, please do join us. Other places you can come join us. Um, thanks to Ben Lewis Evans, uh, we now have a Discord channel. Information about getting uh, to it here. Uh, we're getting up near 100 people. It's a great place to join your community, uh, fellow research nerds, talk about games, research, find people to uh, find, play games with. Um, also terrible jokes, not just mine, uh, Jordan's part of it too. Um, so uh, we also have the Games User Research Twitter channel, which is run by Sebastian Long. 
Um, if you have interesting new games research, uh, news, case studies, whatever you've got, uh, this is a great place to get it out to the world. Um, please use dot at games you are when you're sending stuff. Uh, that way all of uh, our followers at the games you are account can see it without Seb having to retweet it. Um, if you'll note, today Seb has just been madly on his phone retweeting stuff and, and sharing stuff. Um, thank you to everyone that's doing that. Please do tag us at games you are. That's the easiest way for our community to find each other, to find new stuff. Um, if you're looking for new people to follow on Twitter uh, or looking for new followers, great way to get them to. So thanks to Ben Lewis Evans, uh, who over the last couple of years has been putting together our website along with help from other folks as well. Ben is our webmaster. Um, I want to very quickly go over a few of the resources here. Uh, we've got the Gur Industry List, um, which is originally put together by David Sinclair and then improved by Steve Bromley, um, where we've basically got a list of studios where games user research happens. Uh, for students, this is super important. If you're asking a question of like, what city do I need to live in to work here? Good place to find that answer. Uh, we have the Games User Research Jobs Board, great place if you're looking for a dedicated role. Uh, for people that are recruiting for finding new roles, please post your jobs there as well. Um, this is only as useful as we make it as a community. It's a great resource if we use it right. We also have the Gersig Mentoring Program, I'm going to mention that a bit later. Um, we have a couple links uh, such as to our Gersig LinkedIn group and the IGDA. Uh, we also have our GER Methodologies Wiki. Um, this is kind of aimed at more junior folks. Um, but if you go there, find it useful. If you're interested in contributing, uh, the contact information to do that is there. Um, some really, really good information there. We also have a, our Mendeley Library, which has, a, it's an organization of, I think, about 170 research papers on games user research right now. Very good research if you're looking for actual, you know, facts about things, prior research, strange things like that. Uh, we've also got our pictures library, uh, which is a great place to find terribly embarrassing pictures of yourself or others. Um, I promise you look better than I do in a lot of those. Uh, and then we also have, uh, my favorite link is to the Games UR Summit presentation. This takes us to the YouTube channel where all of the videos that we have at these events uh, that we've managed to record properly are uploaded. So that's where all of this is going to go uh, as soon as we can get it up there. Um, there's a tremendous amount of knowledge sharing that goes on there. Um, juniors, students, even seniors, um, this is a wonderful resource. We've had years of research, uh, a lot of really, really uh, great stuff has gone up there. Um, please do go check it out. Um, I, I tell people it's the TED for user research uh, and then hope that they know what TED is. So the Gersig Mentoring Program, um, first I want to thank Steve Bromley uh, who has been running this for us. It is a tremendous, tremendous resource. Uh, our number of mentors this year has gone from 19 to 27. That's our list. Mentors, thank you. Um, a lot of you came out uh, this morning uh, for the, the speed networking talk, or the speed networking event. Thank you very much for doing that as well. Um, we very much need more English hard, yes. Um, we very much, man, we need more mentors, preferably ones that can speak better English than I can. Um, we need also people to help Steve Romley uh, manage that program. Um, because when you've got 27 mentors and you have a lot of mentees needing placement, that's a lot of effort that's all on Steve's shoulders. Uh, you've heard me mention his name a couple times because he helps us a lot. Steve is amazing. Um, so seniors, if you've been around for a while, you're interested in helping out, uh, this is a pretty low time commitment for, in most cases. If you want to make it big and like deep, great, go for it. Um, but for most of us, from talking to the different mentors, it's a pretty low time commitment. It's a great way to give back to the community. Uh, I found it really wonderful trying to just explain my terrible ideas. Uh, helps me improve uh, improve my own work. If I need to explain how to do a methodology, that helps me organize it in my own head. So mentoring itself is really valuable. Uh, for mentees, if you are interested in joining the program, great. I have some very strong advice to you, which is do not just pick one mentor. Uh, because the, they may be busy, they may not think they can help you. Um, look through the list. Uh, there are people on the list, I'm not ashamed to admit, that I would love uh, to have as my mentor. Um, look through, find like three or four people that you think could really help you and then reach out with that, okay? If you have any questions about this program, feel free to reach out to me, catch me at the, the social event later as well. So uh, the Games User Research SIG, a little bit about our organization, since a lot of people that are new uh, aren't familiar with it. Um, we are a 100% volunteer organization. Uh, we are run basically by a seven person elected steering committee. The steering committee then elects uh, a summit chair uh, from amongst themselves. Um, again, we had David Tisserand for a couple of years. Uh, now you guys have me. Um, we really need people to uh, participate in the elections so this downward trend does not continue. 
Um, so uh, this is going to be coming up in June. If you are interested in participating uh, as a steering committee member, please uh, reach out, let us know, talk to people that are on this list, find out you know, what kind of stuff we do, what we don't do, um, get an idea of, of what you're signing up for. Um, but it's this purely volunteer thing. It's a great way to get involved with the community. It is a great way to network and meet a lot of people and do some really cool stuff. All right, I'm keeping us from beer, so I'm trying to be very quick here. Um, so good news, you are all International Game Developers Association members. Uh, when you bought your ticket, you got a free year of IGDA. Uh, this could either be a student membership or a full membership, um, but you are now members of the IGDA. Uh, if you're here for GDC, check out their booth at GDC. Um, they've got a tremendous amount of information. Uh, they've usually got some interesting swag, uh, really, really good uh, amount of stuff here at GDC for them. Also, even if you're not going to GDC, check out uh, the benefits on the IGDA org website. Uh, there's some really cool uh, benefits that we get just from being members, um, discounts, things like that. Um, and then if you are so inclined and you're coming to GDC, uh, we're going to have the IGDA SIG Roundtable uh, on Thursday. Um, that's basically, uh, I'm going to give a bit of this brief as well, tell people about the SIG. Uh, and then it's a chance for our, our community at large to talk amongst itself. It's a roundtable where we can discuss, uh, discuss things, plan things, get new ideas, as well as reach out to the broader game developer community that's at GDC and tell people what the heck we do. Um, so we'd love to see a whole lot of you there uh, to help answer questions. If you have something you want to discuss uh, amongst the broader SIG, um, please do come out. Uh, it's open to anyone. I believe it's open to all kinds of passes. Maybe not the actual pass. So last thing I'm going to leave you with. Um, as I mentioned, we are a volunteer organization. Uh, this entire summit was run pretty much by volunteers. The EU summit, same thing. Our web stuff, all of that, all this is volunteers. Um, about four years ago, uh, I, yeah, it was four years ago, I was like, oh, cool. I came to one of these, I was like, yeah, I want to volunteer, expecting to be like made water boy uh, or go for or like something like that. Uh, ended up being given a little bit more responsibility than that, and it opened up a tremendous number of doors for me. Um, as any of my colleagues will be more than happy to tell you, if I can do it, so can you. More than that, we also need you to do it. Um, we have a, a lot of cool stuff going on, but it only works if we get people that are interested and passionate. Uh, for juniors especially, this is the best networking. I'm not exaggerating one bit here. This is the best networking opportunity that I think you will ever find, uh, is participating and volunteering in events like this. Coming to this, getting your name out there, uh, connecting with some of the, the people in our community. There is no better way to do that, no better way to, to demonstrate to these people that you can provide good value, that you're smart, that you're capable, that you're dependable. Fantastic opportunity. Um, seniors, great way to, to connect with old friends, um, get up to, to hijinks and shenanigans. Yes, yes he is done. So, um, I'm gonna remind you again, survey, survey, room full of researchers. I trust you can figure this out. Please, please don't prove me wrong. Okay, I get enough of that in my life. Um, so we are now going to be going to the Mission Rock Resort. Um, if you don't know where it is, uh, follow someone who understands how to use the internet and Google Maps, um, or just follow the herd because that's where most of us hopefully are going. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Like we had a tremendous number of really good speakers. I really want to thank them. Uh, I want to thank you guys for showing up. Uh, again, you know, we have all the volunteers, but there'd be no point in doing this if nobody showed up. Um, so we added a, a a record number of student tickets this year. Thank you folks for showing up. Um, I'm sorry, I saw a hand go up. Question? Uh, for what? Oh, uh, we are not on Facebook. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, that was briefly discussed uh, while drunk and and everyone's laughing. This is what to find us. Uh, we are not on Facebook. If you see something posted on Facebook, it's not us. It's probably a terrible parody. Um, and Jordan is probably making it right now. And if he doesn't, I probably will. Um, so we are the Games User Research SIG on LinkedIn. Yes, yes. Uh, contrary to what I may represent, we do try and be professionals. Um, so again, you must be involved in games. If you, if you apply to this, and I can't tell from a pretty quick glance um, that you are interested in games, you're going to get rejected. There's a really nice form letter that we tell you some reasons why you probably did. But please do come join us. I would love to have more folks there, uh, especially cross-disciplinary. If you have uh, game developers and stuff like that that are interested in research, if you are a professional game developer, we'd love to have you on board. Production, designer, all that kind of stuff. 
Any other quick questions? Thank you for running it. Thanks, Jordan. All right. So thank you, volunteers. Thank you, everybody else. Um, we're really, really happy that, that this keeps being an event and growing. Really looking forward to seeing what the EU guys do. Uh, and Phil Keck, no pressure. Looking forward to next year. Thank you, folks.